your family may have added a dog to your household this holiday season. So in today's Family First, it is important to make sure to have your dog trained, but many people really don't know where to start or how. Joining me is Mike Wheeler. He's the owner of Sit Means Sit of Madison, Madison's off-leash experts, and my own dog that I adopted here off the morning show, Pet of the Week, Hallie Bellport. Uh, Thank you, Mike, for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Now, first of all, before we get into the training of my dog, uh, what are the things that owners need to do to train their dogs the minute they get them? What should they immediately be working on? Well, the first thing I always like to teach is I like to teach uh, a good come command. So we have to create a, a very clear picture to our dogs regardless of what we teach them. Mm -hmm. So with us, sit means sit come means come. So if mm -hmm. I say to my dog come, I expect them to come and stay with me within petting distance. So that helps when it comes to walks and things like that. And people coming to the door. You don't exactly. want a confrontation between your guests and your dog. Right, exactly. So I mean if I only had three commands to te teach my dog, I would teach him to come, to sit properly, and then also to place, which means get on an object and stay there. Very important. Now, what you have on my dog is an interesting dog collar. What is this? That's a sit mean sit dog training collar. Um, basically, it's just a remote training device. Um, a little bit different than, than um, your invisible fences and things like that. So this actually gets our dog's attention in a very humane way to kind of like a tap on the shoulder more than anything. And it's not a shock because you tried it on me. Right. Because Anything you try on my dog, you have to try on me first exactly. because I don't exactly. believe in a lot of the shot collar. Sorry, I don't. Um, and all it is is it just is a tap, and it's a remote tap. Right, exactly. So it's kind of like if, if you're involved in doing something and somebody taps you on your shoulder, mm -hmm. it, it actually allows for uh, it to grab your attention very quickly. Because my challenge with her is walking her on a leash. She walks me. So what are some of the things that you would do to train an owner as well? Because you're training us as much as you're training our dogs. What would you train us to do? Well, f first of all, any, any issues that a dog has is all based upon energy. Okay. So if, if they have their energy, mm -hmm. um, if, if we sit here and, and have an issue, it's typically because they're either jumping, they're barking, they're trying to drag us, whatever. Yes. So all we have to do is grab their attention. So even like the... Come over here on this side yeah. so we can see you. So even, even the treats right here just help to grab her attention. Mm -hmm. But when, when we are on a walk, the treats are going to lose its value. So there we go. Good girl. Come. So even right here, I'm telling her to come. So come is to stay next to me within petting distance. Mm -hmm. So I'm just being very clear to her what it is that I want. So the treats are just, again, a training aid. Like a leash, it's just a training aid. Okay. I don't want to do anything that's going to suppress my dog's spirit or anything right, like that. Right, of course. I want to I want to make my dog So more. training with treats does help. Yeah, absolutely. And then what about if I'm just walking on the street with her? You know, she is yeah. she really I mean, she sees something and she is gone usually with me. So Right. So <clears throat> establishing that good that good come command is super beneficial mm -hmm. because then if we're very clear that come means come, mm -hmm. then she's going to stay with us. With and also, distance. you would mention very quickly, we're running out of time here, but with this uh, leash, uh, the collar rather, it just delivers a tap. So if she starts to walk away from me, all I need to do is just push that remote and it kind of taps her and helps remind her, right. stay with me. Right, we can absolutely do that. When they understand the collar, that's, that's what can help. Okay. Um, so, absolutely. All right. Well, Mike, thank you so much. You're Some really welcome. important tips. Now, if people want to get involved with training, you go, you go to the dog owners, correct? Correct. Okay, so you can train them at the park, you can train them at their home, and you work not only with the collar, you work with treat-based rewards? Yeah, absolutely. We use everything in training. Oh, oh, how do you stop a dog from jumping for your hand for a treat really quickly? Well, and, and I mean, there's a lot of things that we can do for that, but the biggest thing is if we can just get them to sit, that's going to be a huge thing. Sit means sit, Hallie. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. All right, Mike Wheeler, owner of Sit Means Sit of Madison, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. your help, and I'll be working on some of these things with uh, Hallie as well. How much are those collars, by the way? Um, these collars are about $230. Um, 
and they have a lifetime warranty and, mm -hmm. and everything like that. So All they're right. unmatched. All right, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Char